the love of the Father, the love of our God and our Father. That is the reason, brothers and sisters, why we are all special, why we are all important in the eyes of God. And this is the reason why we are here to celebrate the great love of our Father. But you know, sometimes when we face trials, when we face difficulties in life, that's the time when we question the love of God. That's the time when we question His goodness, His mercy to us. There was a time when I realized that uh, I am facing a great challenge in my life. I found it so hard to pray. Now come, come to think of it. When you have a problem, when you have a difficulty in life, it would be so easy to question God. So easy. But we just don't realize that His love comes in without our knowing it. More especially during trials. More especially during difficulties. You know, God is not looking at us in what we are, who we are. Perhaps some of us here are experiencing difficulties in their family. Perhaps some of us here are members of a broken family. Or perhaps some of us here experience hurts, pains in the past, which we can't forget. But you know, no matter the difficulties, no matter, no matter the situation that you are in, God looks at you with love, with mercy, with faithfulness. And here tonight with me to share with you is my son, Raymond. You know, he's on wheelchair because he has an incurable muscular disorder since he was born. And I, and I just believe that tonight, God would use him and in this particular situation in his life to show how much God loves him and how much God loves all of us. I think the question would be, do you feel God's love right now? And that question I would also ask Raymond. Mon, do you feel God's love? Feel na feel ba ni mo ang love ni God? Yes. Feel na ko ang love ni God. Amen. Ano makaingon maka Mon nga feel ni mo ang love ni God? Kay bisag dili ko makalihok kaayo, naka-eskwela gihapon ko. Nagya na na ako sa third year high school sa Cagayan Capital College. Bisag dili ko makalakaw na ka si Mama, na si Kay, si Carol, ang akong best friend o partner. Bisag mag-away may usahay. Gihimo ninyo sa ako, ang dili na ko mabuhat. Salamat sa love and care. Napod si Lingling, si Nining, si Kuya Hill, Lolo o Lola, si Uncle Albert, Auntie Nenen, Uncle Jim, Auntie Lena, Paul Ray, o Sandy. Yes, uh, practically mo, the whole family loves you. And uh, we just would like you to know, uh, padayon gini mo, nagin mi sa imong side. Mo, nung sa imong ikashare ka ron, nung sa imong ikasulti para sa mga batanon o mga anak na ni Adidi ka ron. Do everything without complaining. I may not be able to move or walk on my own, but I will not complain because my family, my parents, do things for me. Uh, yeah. Love, honor, and respect your parents. For they, they love you very much. 
God gave, gave them to you to do wonderful things for you. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, and to the young adults who are here, your family loves you. Perhaps your family is not the perfect family. Siguro in your family karon is broken, but it doesn't mean that your family doesn't love you. God has His ways of telling you his, about His love to you. You know, our Lord Jesus Christ, in the same way, He loved, He loves, honors, and respects His mother. That said, Mother, the Virgin Mary. Jesus Christ loved, honor, and respect our Blessed Mother. That's why we venerate her. In the same way, kita sad, and respect our Blessed Mother. I think one of the things that we should put in mind right now is what the Scripture is telling us. The Scripture is telling us that if you have trials in life, if you have difficulties in life, consider it all joy. Consider it all joy. That's what the book of James is telling us. Because your trial, your suffering is a test of your faith. And in the process, you will have perseverance. You will endure. And God will make your perseverance complete and perfect. So let's consider every suffering, every problem, every difficulty. Right now, let's consider that as God's way of telling us, my son, my daughter, I love you. So right now, let's just uh, have a prayer together with my family. Let's pray and honor God because He is so good. He is so pure. He is so righteous. He is faithful to all of us. There is no God like Him.
love of our Father is best expressed by sending us His Son, Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate because God the Father loves us so much and He gave us His Son, Jesus.